Well, good early morning. It is Saturday, December the 7th, if I'm not mistaken. It is about 48, 49 degrees here on Lake Hickory. And I am just happy to be able to get out finally. It has either rained or been just blue cold every Saturday, my only opportunity to get a fish. So we thought we'd come out here and do a little winter bassing. I've got on a Texas rig, football jig, deep crank, and of course, I still got on Ned and I still got on a finesse wacky rig. But we're going to go try off some of these points, Rocky Points, and see what we can do. Uh, up to 314 subscribers this morning. It grew 10 just the last couple days. I appreciate that very much. Uh, just feels good to be on the water. This is the only day it looks like for the next week. It's supposed to snow next Friday here in the south. So let's get out here and see if maybe we can get one winter bass it'd be a awesome thing been a while since i got one on camera but anyway as always i appreciate you tuning in thank you so much i hope everyone had a great thanksgiving and god bless you with family and great memories and great food so let me get paddled across here and uh see what we can find it looks a little bit different now with all these leaves and everything gone but uh they've got a uh bass tournaments the uh winter bass trail here on hickory and boats have been out everywhere this morning so i was waiting on it to warm up a little bit i didn't put on a whole lot of clothes i figure you know what if something would happen and i go in i'd rather be in a little tiny bit of clothes where i can hurry up and swim get out of this water than to have on a big suit and get water logged and can't swim fast enough so that's my theory well, let's pray that we stay in this Three Waters Big Fish 120. Uh, feel free. Three Waters, we've got some great sales going on right now just for Christmas. Uh, you can go to their web pages, check them out. That's all the little commercial I'll be doing on that part. But yeah, go check them out and you might find something you're interested in. But anyway, as always, NC Yak Angler, baby, I appreciate it very much. Let's go find us a bass. So, towards your bank, bring it back. Let me see if I can catch one. It's been a while since I've caught a bass. So if I scream like a little kid, then, well, I'm going to. It is so wonderful to be out here in December on the lake. This is just amazing. They're supposed to get to about 55. The sun's burning my face. Sure can't fuss about that. Not even feel nothing on the bottom. Thank you, God, for this. I mean, how beautiful. Well, let's turn around right here. Cast a little. The house right there, it's for sale. It's like an estate or something. It's like 5,000 some square feet. Uh, they've knocked it down right now, I think like 600 some thousand dollars. It's on two big lots. It's like it, uh, I went and peeked in the windows one day and it's like it's uh, stuck in time. Like when the people left it, they left it a certain way. And it looks like it's late 80s, early 90s and it's still stuck in the same position with all the decorations. It's always pretty, pretty cool looking. Man, I want to bash really bad this morning.
I have got to invest in some electronics. I'll probably do that in January. Get through Christmas. Let's see if I can't get this thing set up because right now it's just hunting the needle in a haystack. I'm hoping that maybe some of them are coming to the bank, getting a little warmer. Well, we can always go Texas rig and football jig because I have pretty much checked that whole area. We'll just keep the GoPro going here a minute and throw out the old Texas rig. Black zoom worm, bullet weight, and the bead. But it's, it's my favorite way, it was my favorite way to fish for years and years until I got into the Ned rig, and I tell you, it's hard to beat it. I don't even know how this thing's set here. Let's see what we got. Oh, I'll take that. These fish are real slow. I'd like for that to get tight real quick and take off. Let me kind of get a different angle here. I don't know, right there felt something. Might be a stick or something. I'm gonna set the hook. Oh, it could have been a twig or something. But I wasn't going to take no chances. Anyway, let me uh, keep fishing a little bit here. And see what we can find. I'll be back. Come down to an area that's in the shade and my gut tells me it's probably not the place to be because of the fact that they are moving up they're probably trying to go and get a little bit warm but i was gonna go here i'll turn around i was gonna go up in this channel here but the wind's coming through it like crazy so i decided to stay away from it the wind's probably you can probably hear it so i'm gonna fish this bank a little bit and then if not i'm gonna go to the other side of the lake or the sun shining and fish a couple places that i've had a little bit of luck at and see if maybe i can get me one of course i went to the wacky rig surprising surprising but it is a little bit chilly over here in the shade. I'm not going to lie. Thought I had one a while ago, and I still think it was just the bottom. I know me. I'll set a hook in a minute. I just got to find me one. One, one, one. Might be a short video. I'll catch one right now. But I do enjoy being out here. I think I said wacky rig, I meant Ned rig. I always go to the Ned rig. It's it's just a producer. What do you think? Find something laying up in here somewhere. That should be on the bottom. Let's see what we can feel, if anything. Wintertime fishing, I know the fish slow. It's just hard for me to fish super slow but I know it's what I should be doing
but we're going with a really good current right here. Well, I said that and the wind blew me sideways, 20 mile an hour. I'm on a little bass, or big bass actually. Set a second. See, that's either a tree or a fish. I'm going to set the hook. And it must have been a tree. Man, I tell you what, I fish in bass boat for. 15 years and it is I still struggle with setting a hook sometimes from a kayak sometimes I wonder am I actually losing fish or my imagination but you know it could be a combination of both and I could stand up yes I can absolutely stand up in this three waters big fish 120 but just not wanting to really take that chance right now in case something would happen I don't want to go in this cold water opposite side of where I live. I have to get all my clothes off up on that bank, be sitting there naked. It just, I don't know. I don't think that's gonna work out too good for me. Oh, I'd love to see a line take off. But my gut tells me that I'd probably need to go over where the sun is. I'm going to cast one more time on the GoPro right here. Cast one more time. Let's pick the spot I want to cast at. I may throw the deep crank right here too, these rocks. Sometimes that's a smart, smart call. Hey, it's just good to be out fishing. I'm let this thing stay closer to the bottom. Quit pulling up so much. I just passed the boat and that's during that uh winter trail on hickory and they've been out here all morning and have only put one in the boat so it's not saying it justifies me not catching my fish but you know at least they didn't say yeah they've had five and then cold 15 then i'd have to rethink my whole fishing situation Right there feels a little sluggish, but you just, let's just see. That's a fish right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No! Oh, that was a decent sized bass too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, that upsets me. I had it. Oh my gosh. Thank you, God, for allowing me to be a Christian because the words that come out of my mouth right now would not be good. They 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 would not be good. Thank you, God, for letting me be a Christian because there would be something in that like Pepsi right now. Oh. Okay. Let me uh, let me pull myself together because I'm be honest, I'm seeing red right now. I know it's just a fish, but it's been a while and it was a decent size. I mean, she was pulling. That was a decent size bass laid down in there. Mm-mm-mm. 
Uh-uh-uh. I'm going to uh, turn this off. Fish just a little bit, gather my thoughts. I'll be back. So I decided to paddle back up and fish down it one more time because just in case. I did throw the deep crank a few times through here just to see if maybe I can get something else. So instead of being negative on what just happened, I'm going to be positive. It's December the 7th. It's cold. The wind's blowing. I'm in a kayak. And apparently I'm throwing something that they were interested in. So that's the positive in it. I did get a bite. That's a positive. So that's how I'm going to look at this. Even though I threw a tantrum all ago. Sorry about that. But at least I had something that they were wanting. So that is a good positive sign. And this is a larger, I think it's, oh, pretty sure it's a Z-Man. It's like a Canadian crawl Ned rig. It's bigger. Crawfish maybe, I think. Not 100%. I'll look at it here in just a little bit. I'm going to throw back towards that rock. And if not, then we're going to go get in the sun. Let's see if maybe we can take our time and fish like we did a while ago. If there's one, there's two. Leave it on the bottom. Let's go real slow. Tell you what, that wind is cutting cold. It's supposed to possibly snow here next Friday. Then mm. yeah, I sit here and I think, if I'd have been standing up and set that hook, what have I got it? Did I pull too hard with the Ned rig and just pull it out of its mouth? I should have did more of a sweeping motion than a yank. I don't know. You play it over and over in your head, and it's like, man, why did I just miss it? And that was a decent bass. Uh, you can you can always tell. I mean, you can see the rod in the video. It was she was pulling. Wow. Okay. Let's toss one more. The water has turned over or something here on Lake Hickory. I don't know what is going on, but this water was just as clean and clear as it could be in like the last two days. I and mean, we've not had any rain, but it has went murky. And see, I'm the wind is blowing this way. Well, the water's running that way. And I just wonder if sometimes that gets it stirred up real good. All right, let's cast right up in there. Yeah, that wind is that wind is blowing now. I'm gonna have to go find a somewhere to hide. Let's see here. I'm on one little bass. Or one big bass, I ain't gonna lie. I like to get me about a three or four pounder. Couple pictures, get it uploaded. Cause the way the weather looks, once I go buy me some serious wetsuit or something, I'm not exactly sure when I'm gonna get back on the water and I miss it. I miss being out here. It's so peaceful. But I am making making some good progress. But okay, so let me flip this thing around. Trying to figure out exactly where to go. I don't want to fight the wind all day, but whoo! Goodness gracious. Oh. I think I'm gonna go over in there, and then there's a couple little inlets where I've actually caught bass. Uh, so let me go do that. It is absolutely beautiful though. I thank you God for this. Thank you God for letting me at least feel the bass. A little excitement this morning. But anyway, I will be back. I'm sure you all probably seen me fish around in this area before, but I thought we'd give it a try. I threw a couple times. This wind is rolling. Let's see what, maybe try to stay away as far as I can. Cover as much ground as possible. Give them time to bite. Oh 
please let me find me one. Tell you what, this wind has really picked up. That's something. But we're in a shallow part of the lake. It could just be the bottom. Yeah, it's just brush. Hey, I got excited though. You never know. What's swimming up to see if we can find something to eat. Right there's, yeah, that's getting on the bottom. What if you're feeling that nah, right there. Oh, that's made me, it's like, hmm. I get hung, but I'm going to try it. Got a good rock bank all the way down through here. Then we got a point coming up too, so that makes me happy. Let's see. My gut tells me if I can get it up in that corner. That's about exactly where I wanted it. Now let's see if I can. If my gut was right. Something. Boy, that feels like a fish. I swear it does. No, just the bottom. Be a good place for one to be laying. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Are you serious? I got one, didn't even know I had it. Are you crazy? <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Really? <sighs> Boy, you want to talk about saying, Boy, my gut was right on that, right? How crazy was that? How nice is that? Uh-uh-uh. Well, that just makes me real happy. Hold on here. Let me get this. Let me get my pliers. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you, God. Uh, that's how it normally works, though, right? I know, little fella. Hold on here. We're going to get you. You ain't in there that bad. Anyway, let me uh, put these grips on this thing real quick and we'll get a little measurement on him just to see. But right now I gotta get out of this hole I'm in. Mean, do you believe that? Isn't that crazy how fishing works? <sighs> fishing, fishing, fishing. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Lord, my, my bell's not done. I'm Watch me catch another one just because I'm not paying attention. Sorry y'all having to see all this, but you know what? It's fishing. I'm not going to sugarcoat none of it. This is what fishing is. It's fun, and it's aggravating. 
It's all of them. It's everything you want it to not be. Thank gosh. Okay. We'll get that in a minute. <laughs> well, all my video is going to be this. Let me. This board's not hot, so he'll be okay. Let's just get a peek at him here real quick. This is curious. He ain't big, but it's a bass. Move your coat. Shut your little mouth, little feller. There you go. Hey. 13 and 3 quarter. Hey, it's a bass. Cold little feller. Right, I'll put him back on one more time. I'm going to get a picture with him. Uh, I'll be right back. All that situated. Wow, was that not crazy? Oh, that is called fishing. Uh, caught me, caught me off guard. But I'm gonna come and fish on the back side of that real quick, just kind of where the water's calm. I'm gonna throw a couple times up in here, and then we're gonna go fish a point and see if maybe we can catch us one or two more. I'd take one more, but I'm not gonna fuss with what just happened either. Ah, oh, man, that was awesome. There's so much debris here, so that that could be. A little bait fish or something. That's why I decided to come back and fish it again. But that was awesome. That bass was committed. Sorry about that. That's my son texting me. Feels like one right there. We feel it again. Hold on. Uh, that was pretty hard set on that hook, but like I said, there's so much underbrush here, it's hard to say. Boy, this current is getting strong. And I'm getting farther and farther and farther and farther away from the house. I just want to throw up in that corner over top of that. Gatorade bottles float because people don't pick up the trash, but it could have. All the floods we've had, it's hard to say. But boy, I threw right over where I said, didn't I? If I could just walk that one time here. My phone's probably getting ready to beep again. I think it beeps twice on a text message. Come on. Just one more. Hey, but I can't fuss, man. That was freaking awesome. Little bass. Little winter, cold winter bass. Same place where to go. I set the hook. I felt it again. That's a bass. <sighs> no, it wasn't a bass. I don't know. Yeah, it was odd. That was an odd feeling. If, if that was a bass, I don't think I wanted it because I think I weighed 412 pounds. Mm. Okay. I'm going to turn around and fish these rocks real quick and then we'll go see what we can find. Alright, that's about as good as the cast is going to get. Find one laid up somewhere. So, I lost one, caught one. In about an hour and a half. That's not too bad, I guess. Okay, while we're running, I'm going to have to edit this way down. We're going to have another 40 minute video, and I know that those get old. We'll try to hit the highlights.
it might be hung as awful close to the bank, but it's kind of what I was wanting. I thought I was hung. I cannot believe Christmas is here already. It's just around the corner. It seems like I was just filming that video of me being uh, Lake James going up the Linville River and catching those two smallmouth. Oh, I'll never forget that day. I'm still, I still think about it from time to time. That was just, that was just so awesome. I hope to be there late March, early spring. Get me some more of those. That was, they are so beautiful. This year coming up, I will fish the new river. I don't care if I got a, right there's a bass. Try to get my net back out here. Ah. Well, we have a. Uh, we've lost two now. In case you didn't know, it's two. But you know what? That's my own fault. I was trying to get the net. I could have probably just picked him up and brought him in. It was probably about the same size, maybe just a hair bigger. But I really probably should have just uh, tried to swing him in and quit trying to get that net out. That was my own fault. So let me fish a little bit more. I'll be back. We're going to fish down this side right here where I just lost one. And then we're going to go fish that little point that I was telling you about. And then I'm probably going to call it a day. I got a really crazy, I know, in December. But I really need to go run the lawnmower just a little bit. Leaves and just a few things. See if we can find us something in here. Well, I can't believe I just lost that one though. I hope some of that was on video. That was a decent looking little bass. But they're coming up to try to eat on this warmer day, that's for sure. That's crazy right there. I'm hung on something. Uh, I would, I guess I was hung. But what? I just lost a 10 pounder. Gotta know how to edit this thing down. I've been hitting that button like crazy, but I'm trying to get more. There's one right there. It might be smaller, but it's something. That was a little quick nibbles. I'll tell you what. It's a good sign right through here. Let's, let's do one more. Try not to get hung all up in there, but that was threw up in there. I'm getting hung right there. So much stuff, but hey, let's see. I know when I go back to the house, I'm gonna have a paddle because that wind is blowing like crazy. Okay. Ah. That always makes you wonder when it's like that. It's like, hmm. I tried to pull that off. Okay, well, let's get this three waters big fish 120 turned around here. And I'm going to go down on the other side of these houses. There's a rock point straight right around there. And I just got a feeling that I'm going to go pull one off of it. I'll be right back. Just pulled up here to the house. I'm going to fish my own dock a second. And, uh, 
call it a day. I need to clean up my beach. We've had that last last big rain and all. My beach is covered. Leaves need to be raked. I got so much to do. You know how it is, but I had to take this little bit of time on this beautiful Saturday, but it's starting to get cloudy in that wind. It's, it's starting to cut through me, to be honest. So let's fish right here on my own dock this second. I need to put some stain on that dock. I can see that. Well, just moved in in the spring, and as you know, I've been fishing a lot all summer, so <laughs> but we'll definitely get it. Yeah, I'd like for one more, but hey, caught one, lost two. I just hope that one I lost, the uh, second one, I hope there's a little bit of footage of that bass. It was a decent looking little bass. I, I hate I lost it, but hey, it's fishing. Right there feels, I'm gonna set the hook. Uh, maybe, I guess maybe that's a stick. So much stuff gets washed up here. It's the bottom changes daily. You think you know the pattern and then you don't. Hold on, I gotta back up, goodness gracious. That wind, that wind is not friendly. Yeah, there's so much brushes washed up. Fish off that just straight out. Work that bottom all the way in. Never know. It has been a beautiful day. I think it's about. 130 I think so three hours one fish is better than nine at least we got a video to put up I'll edit some of this out so it's not so long I know it's hard to sit and watch a YouTube video for 35 40 minutes I'm about, about 10 to 15 minutes is where I'd like to keep them but sometimes they just they got to run over a little bit I got stuff to say because apparently I talk a lot. Wouldn't it be nice to have one right here at the end? Right here at the very end. I feel all kinds of brush. Wouldn't that be wonderful? I'm about a five pounder grab hold of it right now and take off. I'm allowed to wish. Tell you what, my gut feeling when I caught it earlier was pretty, it was pretty impressive. I like that. Alrighty. Well, the way I look at it, it's clouding up, the sun's going in. I probably caught them in their most active point. But as always, I appreciate it. NC Yak Angler, Twitter, Facebook. I don't pay a whole lot of attention to that one on Facebook. I'm just uh, having two Facebooks. I got to uh, do more. I'll start getting more stuff posted there and start getting that one built up a little bit. Uh, definitely Instagram. And as you know, YouTube. Uh, if you're in the market for kayak accessories, feel free. Three Waters. Look them up. Uh, there's links on my page. Uh, links to dealers. So I'd really like to see people who have not got on the water get on the water, even if it's not for fishing, just get out the exercise. I know me sitting around these last three or four weeks, not out paddling and doing what I did all summer, my back was starting to tighten up. So it feels good to be out here getting a little bit of exercise, especially in the winter and Thanksgiving and Christmas, because all I'm gonna do is sit around and eat. I bet you ate 42 turkey sandwiches. But anyway, I appreciate it. I, I don't know how to say thank you enough. We're growing, growing together. Uh, any sponsors out there uh, like what you see uh, any thing for fishing anybody want to uh, got some good cold wet winter gear you'd like for me to try and plug I'm right here I'm an extra large so hit me up anyway I appreciate it thank you God bless tomorrow is Sunday if you're in the Hickory area great church is Grace Church on Highway 321 
uh, I-10 there. They got a 9 and 11. Uh, it's just great. Everybody's welcome. It don't matter race, color. It doesn't matter. We love everybody. Come worship with us. God bless you.